missing beads.
you guys here is the haul from today's thrift store visit at this particular thrift store today all of the clothing was 25 cents i am being picky with clothing and um, i left so much behind that i could still have turned a profit on but i'm just i just can't process it all right now i can't work through it i still have stuff that i'm working through from last season i'm picking up new stuff every single weekend from more yard sales so i'm trying to limit how much bread and butter i bring into my life a few pieces though i could not resist and i will show you those um let's start with the shoes so shoes were not 25 cents they were marked but i felt like i could pay a little bit more for them since this was also cheap and it was about 18 or so for everything that you see here um so first pair is vince Kimuto. i'm not sure if i should have picked these up i'm gonna be really honest but i thought they were kind of cool like the way that they were cut at the toe there um, and i paid four dollars for those so i don't know I'll, I'll make my money back i'm sure of that but i don't think they're huge money makers next we have two pairs of shoes that are size 11 if these were my size i would have kept them for sure i think they are gorgeous and they are talbot's leather like a sort of teal blue suede um ballet flat i suppose you could say they have like a tiny wedge but really they're a flat they are so gorgeous they're just a little too big on me um but yeah i figured they were worth grabbing and they were three dollars and then we have size 11 j jill basically the same kind of style just without that little wedge and um, like a taupe brown leather ballet flat and again three dollars this was the only plush that I picked up today. She was $1.50 and um, I picked her up because I think she's anime based from doing my research. Um, I'm going to have to figure out exactly what her name is, but like the comps for this particular style and um, the brand as well went anywhere from sort of like, there was like a low, like $7 all the way up to sort of 18 to 20. So I figured I would give her a try just to branch out a bit really all right i have one pair of boots not a brand i always pick up this boc however these boots are really nice and they only cost me three dollars they are all leather we have like the leather bottoms and then suede leather they're obviously very very tall boots like kind of like moto style riding boots they're just in really really nice condition so for three dollars i decided to give them a try as well all right and here comes the clothing so don't judge me just couldn't help it for a quarter really <laughs> uh okay so it's a novelty t-shirt and these sell really well for me uh watch this space i bet you anything that this sells quickly next there's a cute little vintage piece which i'm loving picking up right now these little crochet vests and um, i believe this is handmade there's no tags anywhere i just sold a couple this last month for around sort of 18 like 15 to 18 or so so not like big money but nice like consistent flips for me and i just love the cute little layering of the vintage crochet pieces right now lots of good keywords boho hippie all that good stuff uh we have a yellow polo shirt don't know anything about the brand but it's vanderbilt university so i figured that some student come uh sort of july and august may want this this piece i ummed and ahed about probably shouldn't have grabbed it so my size medium but i think it's like a it, it looks like it's sort of like an open, not cardigan because it's not knit but i it doesn't have any like holes for um you know, like a belt or whatever. So I don't think it's a robe, but I think it is more like a loungewear kind of like sleep clothes type situation. Um, again, I don't know. I do really well with the Soma pajamas, which is why I grabbed this. But their loungewear, where it's just like the daytime wear, is kind of a hit or miss for me. So I don't know, 25 cents. Worst case scenario, I can donate it again if it's not worth anything. But I figured I would give it a little try. Okay, Foxcroft, 100% linen, size 6, shaped fit with this cute little pin tuck pleating and a very bold uh, floral print. So just like a little shirt. 
Talbots, this is a lamb's wool blend, very cute sweater, and it is a size 3X, like a hot pink with a navy blue uh, stripe at the top. I picked this up without thinking, really, because I always think animal print is kind of like classic and in, um, and I like this. It was It's loft, which I don't pick up a lot of, but it is a blazer with a very sort of like modern contemporary cut to it. However, I feel like I've had stuff like this before with the leopard print, and it just doesn't do that well, so this may have been a mistake. <laughs> this may be like an old habit that is dying hard right now for me. Um, we will see. Picked up a little vintage bed sheet with the vintage Winnie the Pooh. Now it only runs around this part and the rest of the sheet. Um, it's a toddler size and is all plain white. I've sold this set multiple times at this point. It's just the one sheet so hopefully I'll get sort of 12 to 15 for it. People will use this strip of fabric to upcycle into different things. This was one of my favorite pieces so nothing good about the brand. It's vintage but it gave me like all the Stevie Nicks type vibes. I don't know if you feel me on that um, but it is all crushed velvet with this gorgeous like floral print it's a long sort of midi to maxi length and then the cuffs are all like flared with like bell sleeves i just thought it was really really cool and i couldn't leave it behind so i decided to grab that for 25 cents i grabbed one and taylor piece because it was one of the newer tag size medium and again really cute piece it's very like structured with it's not really like a, an argyle print like a diamond type print structured textured really really just like nice piece overall it feels so well made and then again we have a little bit of a flare to the sleeve as well which is kind of cute and last but not least for 25 cents we have ralph lauren size extra large just a men's very classic plaid button up again some of these are bread and butter and i probably should have left them behind but i didn't really want to leave like empty handed <laughs> so i've cut back a lot on the clothing but i probably should have left a few of these pieces behind oh well i will get there at least with yard sales there's like more to look at at this particular thrift store obviously all the clothing was what was marked down to that quarter price and they didn't have a lot of hard goods to look at so i think i felt a little bit pressured to find a few things to be able to flip and make some money off of while i was there which is why i ended up with more clothing pieces i don't know we'll get there in the end all right you guys thank you for coming thrifting with me if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and the bell and all that good stuff if you're interested in joining my facebook group thrift nice we would love to have you we're a very friendly bunch and you're welcome to come and ask all your reseller questions and just get to know some more people in the community as usual my teespring store link will be down below as well with lots of fun reseller themed merchandise and i'll catch you in the next one bye